Hey everyone, so you may have seen that The Cubicle released a video recently with Ro and Damien guessing how fast cubers are based on just a still frame from one of their videos. Now, one of my videos was used, and Ro and Damien just really criticized how I was gripping the cube. So, like, I wanted to show you, like, the truth is, I know cube grips really well, and I probably know them better than most people, so I wanted to share some of that knowledge with you. So we're going to start with this. This is called Home Grip, and you can see that it's just like what I normally use when I'm doing algs and stuff. This really should be the most natural grip for you, how you're holding the cube with your hands, uh, one on the front, one on the back. And just anytime you're doing any kind of algorithm or F12 move or anything, your hand should naturally come back to this position. Now, there are times when you won't use Home Grip, like during some algs and some triggers and stuff, uh, and you'll keep your hands on top of the cube like this. But for the most part, you want to be coming back to Home Grip. It could be really awkward if you're trying to do something that isn't one of these algs in, in something other than home grip. So really it's like just the most basic versatile grip that you should always be using. All right, so this is called dome grip. You're gonna put your hand on top of the cube like this, like a dome. And it's really good for these like U2, R, U2 kind of moves. You see one hand's just completely out of the way and the other one can access the R actually with your pointer finger. So it's, it's really useful for that, but not too much else. This is dome grip. Alright, this here is called phone grip. You hold your hands in this phone shape like this, and you can do some kinds of turns. It's a much more niche grip, but it's really good for these like backwards U flicks that you can do with your pointer finger. You just got all your other fingers out of the way. You can even uh, you, you can even do it one-handed. Like it's it's not that hard. It seems a little unstable, but it's pretty good. Anyway, let's go through the rest of these a little bit faster. This is homophone grip. It's kind of a combination of home and phone grip. I call this foam grip. This is far from home grip. This is get a grip, the hot dog. The hot dog. The trolley problem. I'm not really sure what this one's called. Uh, but it's but it's occasionally useful, you know, when you're in this situation. The Dark Knight. The Queen's Gambit declined. The Dark Knight rises. And finally, the saxophone. 